So for uh, younger rheumatologists, this is a, um, an opportunity for knowledge, for gaining knowledge, for training. For more experienced rheumatologists, this is the place for applied. Uh, an experienced rheumatologist can prepare in advance his participation in the conference and select the points where he can gain and uh, this is uh, the, the, the standard of art in terms of uh, the organization, I believe, of a congress that can give uh, novelty to the people that are already very well prepared. Yes, I'm, I'm involved uh, in the organization of the scientific program for three to four years and this has been a very educative uh, experience also for me. And, uh, uh, the, the, the work goes uh, in, in team, uh, clearly in team, uh, but then there is a, a, a place for a, a certain degree of leadership and that's the role of the chair of the program committee. And that's the role I had during this last year, uh, which is uh, uh, in fact an interactive process between uh, a very well uh, selected uh, scientific committee that covers several fields of knowledge in rheumatology and that propose lectures, propose speakers, select the abstracts and then the coordination is a little bit to try to get the best of each one and to get the best of the proposal. This is also a, a, a great networking event. So it starts by the younger ones that start to know people, start to know their peers, start to know the seniors. And then for those that are more experienced, this is the place for having meetings also. There is room between the sessions to have uh, collaborative projects that are being run over the year and then have the, the, the major meeting here also. Uh, we have separate rooms outside the program, exactly de devoted to that, and this is really also a great opportunity for network. Yes, I have uh, the feeling, and this is on the contrary to, in fact, uh, I'm acting as a, a clinician, the scientist, that osteoarthritis and scleroderma are in fact two fields where there are huge unmet needs from the therapy point of view. And this should be uh, our uh, great bet uh, in the near future, to develop as much as we can the frontiers of knowledge in these two areas. Pick that very special moment of life where you have time uh, as a very precious piece of time in your life. So you have time, you have uh, the spirit to be edu better educated uh, and you sh should invest as much as you can. Uh, if I would go back, I would have invested more in the methodology of research and biomedical statistics. I, if I would go back to pre-graduate uh, school, I would have invested also more on, on, on that. So my advice to younger people is please use this time also not only to understand how rheumatology works as a whole, understand how to be a rheumatologist, but also invest on this.